Good morning. Well, actually, good evening, gents. Uh, today we have a walk-in cooler that is running 55. Just talked to one of the ladies. She says that earlier this cooler was at 80 degrees and the service call says that it has been in defrost for three hours. So I got all my fans running. First thing I notice is I think I can hear that TXV uh, possibly the unit's low on charge, so we might have to do a leak check. But uh, cooler's at 52, so we might have to jump up on the roof and see what's going on with the charge and see what's going on with the defrost clock. So we see you out there. Here's my convention unit right here. The unit's not running. So the first thing I noticed is that whoever designed this gave me a nice little work table. That's pretty nice of them. Uh, Alright, so the condensing unit's not running. Um, it's 50 something inside the box. So this unit should definitely be operational. Let's tear into it, see what we find. Alright, guys, so remove the panel. And just starting to look at the obvious before I start testing anything. Uh, we are calling for refrigeration. Um, uh, looking at the obvious, I can see all that, that crud. Uh, it might not have been this transformer, it might have been a previous one. This one looks pretty new. Alright, gents, so. Put a pressure gauge on this, and we're sitting at about 20. And I noticed that my low pressure switch is open. So, let's see what I can get in here. So, see, we're reading 240 on it. Um, this unit's probably pumped down. I need to go probably downstairs and check that solenoid because I don't see a solenoid out here. Um, at least not up here. So I might have to go back downstairs and check that. If I have 20 psi, it says my cut in's about 30. Let's drop it down a bit just for troubleshooting purposes. So, possibly solenoid getting stuck. Let's go downstairs and check that out. Let me put this back where it was. There it goes. Um, all right, so we can at least, uh, we at least know that everything's working up here. We know that the compressor's working, uh, condenser fan's working, refrigerant, it seems to have refrigerant. Um, we're not going not dirty back here on the condenser I don't see any signs of oil so I'm gonna button it up up here and go downstairs and check that uh, solenoid see solenoid and thermostat let's go see what what's going on downstairs all right just so we're up here at the evaporator now As you can see this unit is still come down um, looking back here, I see a solenoid coil, might be on top of the box, but let's go see what this thermostat is doing.
if you heard that, that was a solenoid opening. So I was able to find one in my van. I'm just gonna replace it with a A19. Alright, so we're back in here. And they just shut off, huh? I wonder if it's going in a defrost. Alright, so she's in defrost. That's why I shut down a minute ago. Hopefully that defrost termination uh, will kick it out of defrost because it's not even, hasn't been running that long. So anyways, let me go ahead and start changing out that thermostat. Look, still in defrost and the heater limit is over here. Right here. See? Somebody wired this wrong. All right, so there we are. That's the heater limit right there. And we're open. So somebody wired this wrong. So this is only going off of a time defrost based on what's at the clock. Oh man, it is hot in here. Oh, that's why they're calling. Look at that. Should have opened a long time ago. Whew. All right, so. I didn't even finish wiring up my thermostat. I noticed this. So let me uh, finish that up and then I'll tackle this uh, wiring issue. Huh, fucking idiots. Alright, just look at the temperature inside this walk in. 71. I'm sweating. And, uh, <clears throat> this is where the installers didn't read. So, number three, which is your defrost, comes down. And then it comes into three. It comes into terminal three. And then, if you notice, they have it directly into H1 and H2. So these heaters, anytime the defrost is energized, these heaters are going to run. <sighs> they are essentially bypassing this heater limit. So I'm going to move one of these legs right there to three so that the power goes through yellow through the heater limit and then comes back out through white and feeds one. Oh, holy hell. Yeah, so it's going to be this one, the red one. So another issue with what these guys did. So from three, they didn't go to three. They went straight to the heater. Now the fans, if you notice from four, they're supposed to come down to four. Now four is gonna, it says right here, install black jumper wire from four to F2. That's for your fans. And then F1 is gonna get fed by your black wire coming out of your uh, defrost termination fan delay. You see that? So N is gonna feed your F1 
four is gonna feed your F2. And look what these guys got here, fans. Fans right here. They got the fans going straight to F1, F2. God, it is so hot in here. I thought this, I thought this thing was done uh, defrosting. What the hell? Uh, holy hell, dude, it's fucking hot. Oh man, dude, whoever installed this is a genius. Said so fuck it. So in here it's about 71. I am sweating my ass off up here. Oh, let's see what the let's see if we can get a temperature on here. Oh god. See? It is hot as balls. I'm not even gonna wait. So anyways, so, I'm sorry. So, like I was saying, they didn't do any of the wiring right. They just went straight to fan one, fan two, so it doesn't even go through the time delay. I mean, the yeah, the fan delay. And they went straight to the heaters, which doesn't go through the defrost termination. I don't, I want to do this right. There it goes. And see? There goes all that hot air. Oh, this is hot. So, it's not going to a fan delay. That's a lot of storage. Alright, gents, so I'm back on the roof. And... Um... So the way that we're running the EVAT fans, you have line one, line two, and the way you're running the heaters, you have line one, black one, line two, red one, defrost, contact. So the way the schematic downstairs is, we're not going to be able to follow it precisely so we're just gonna have to put one of these on F2 I mean I'm sorry on neutral the other one's gonna go to uh, 4 so that'll be our refrigeration right here and then they have two wires going down for heaters so one's gonna have to go through 3 and the other one's gonna have to go to H2 that's the way we're gonna have to do it. I'm sure I could figure out which one of these is common between both, between both electrical circuits. But I'm not gonna do that right now. It's almost eight o'clock. I wanna get out of here and I'm sure they don't want their cooler at 80 degrees. So we're just gonna have to work with what they got, which is two legs for heaters and two legs here for, uh, for the fans. So one of these we're gonna run us through the defrost uh, to the fan delay, I'm sorry. The other one's gonna go to the neutral. Um, actually, we don't even need to do that. We can just run one of them to F2 because we're essentially bypassing N, not neutral, N on both of them. So it doesn't really matter. As long as we go through our heater limit here and as long as we go through our fan delay here, it doesn't matter on which one. <sighs> All right, gents, so looks like I got this figured out so if we're looking at my fans here I'm gonna have my fan come in here to N and then it's gonna go through red go through my fan delay once that fan delay closes it comes back as black and it's gonna feed my F1 right here it's gonna go through my fans and then my other leg for my fans is gonna be here in F2 so, so this is my power to my fans, but now we're going through the fan delay, which is the top one right there, the three wired one. And then my heaters is this one right here. It goes to three, the heater goes to three, and it's gonna come out as yellow, go through my heater safety, 
which is the bottom one right there, two wire. So it's going to go in as yellow through my safety, come out as white. It's going to feed H1. It's going to go through the heaters, to all the heaters right here. And then it's going to come back as H2. And it's going to complete the circuit at H2 right here. So I got it done. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to set this temperature at 100 so it doesn't come on. So what I'm going to do right now is go back up to the uh, go back up to the roof, flip the switch on, come back downstairs, set it to about 36, and we're going to see if that fan delay uh, is actually working. So, whew, pretty good call. Eight o'clock at night or so. All right, gentlemen. So I came back inside after I turned the power on, and my fans were at full speed. As you notice, uh, my refrigeration is off right now, and I have, I mean, I know that's not the best place to get a cold temp, but that's about what it is in the 40s, and as you can see, I have my uh, fan delay right here, and it is closed, so... Oh, I'm pretty sure uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna send this call to get a bid I, I mean I fixed their immediate issue but we need to test out the defrost you know go back up there come back down I mean I'm running out of time um, coils 46 and my fan delay is closed and I'm pretty sure that fan delay is supposed to close at about 25 degrees. Bottom line is that either that fan delay is stuck closed or I need to do some more work. Go up there, turn the heaters on, make sure it opens and then make sure it closes, all that good stuff. Other than that, let me put this back together and get it up and running. So yeah, fans are running. Oil's still about 48 or so. I don't like it, but anyways, like I said, I need to get out of here. We only have a certain certain number of hours to be here. Get them up and running. After that, we've got to send it in for a bit. So now, let's get our refrigeration going. There we go. So now we got refrigeration going. Uh, I really wish I had more time set it into defrost one more time and and uh, watch that fan delay open and close properly but this is way better than what they had before I got here thanks to whoever the installers were uh, sorry about the crappy video this time guys I'm been running since early this morning it's about almost nine o'clock I need to get out of here. So let me button this up. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next call.